Many of the apples we eat were created by research done at the Arboretum's University of Minnesota Orchards. The Minnesota Landscape Arboretum will celebrate that history today with bingo, tours, apple tastings, and more. About a mile away, you can find the Apple House, home of the Honeycrisp and more of your favorites. We took a look inside and learned how those delicious bags of apples get ready for customers. At the Apple House, we've got First Kiss, we've got Sweet Tango, we've got Honeycrisp, We've got um, Wealthy and a few other apples. So many of these apples are ones that the University of Minnesota developed. Absolutely, um, yes. First Kiss is the first one that you pick each yep, year? Yeah, that's, that's the earliest one we have right now. And what is that about? What's the taste? It's, it's, it's a great. It's a, it's a nice, um, slightly tart but sweet, um, nice crisp apple. It has that honey crisp crunch, but just a little bit, a little bit tart flavor. Mm -hmm. And that honey crisp, that is something that was developed here. Absolutely, honey crisp, and in fact, honey crisp and, and first kiss were both developed right here. That's so neat to have that history. Uh, yeah, it's a, it's a great program. Uh, the university has been, been producing um, apples out here for more than 100 years. Wow, and in the Apple House is where people can pick their bag of apples, what they want to go home with. What does it take for your team to get that ready? Well, I mean, if you want to start way back, Honeycrisp, I mean, they, they, look, they look through thousands of trees every year and try and find out if it's something good, right? If it's good, they put it on, on, on the program and they keep track of it for longer. And as, as things go, once they finally decide, hey, this is a great thing, it gets released and then you come and we plant an orchard like this, which starts out with trees that are just a few feet tall. And it takes, you know, five years or so before we start getting fruit. Wow. And then, you know, an orchard like this has been in for 15 years. And you're picking every day though during the season yep. to get during apples the, ready the season, for season, Yes, I've got I've got people, I've got a crew of, of four to eight people picking daily. So once they're picked, how do they go from here to where people can buy them? Yep, so like I've got a, a crew of eight or so that'll pick fruit. They get loaded on the truck, they go over to the back side of the apple house, and then everything gets hand sorted. So we've got a machine that sorts them by size, and then we've got a, a group of people that are there looking at every single apple to make sure it's the right. What are right they looking there. for? Uh, mostly they're looking for damage. Um, if a bird peck is on it, or if there was a little bug chew on it, or if it's just, if, if maybe it was had a little bit of frost and it was deformed mm -hmm. a little bit. Um, they're all saleable. It's just a matter of what quality. So if it's a first quality fruit, it should be perfect, right? They might have a small little something, but otherwise it is perfect. If it's a second quality, it has a small blemish. If it has a, a, a hole in the skin, it goes to utility for cooking or making juice. And inside the Apple House, there's a lot that you can buy in there besides just the oh, apples that are picked out absolutely. here. Oh, absolutely, absolutely, yes. I mean, it, it kind of started with the apples, but it's grown into a lot of other stuff. There's a lot of apple-related products and a lot of other, you know, a lot of um, mixes for making cakes or mm -hmm. bars or soup or, you know, they do a lot of apple-related things, but we've got a lot of other stuff going on. Sure. So. And when people bring their apples home, what's the best way to keep them good? Uh, my, my first response on that one is always keep them in the refrigerator. They do best if they're cooled. Um, they don't like to sit on the table, they just get old. So keep them in your refrigerator. If you keep them in your crisper drawer, I like to recommend putting a little bit of paper towel that's dampened or a washcloth that's damp in there. Refrigerators pull the moisture out of things. Apples have a high percentage of moisture. Mm -hmm. So it'll, it'll start to desiccate, it'll take that water away from them. So if you can keep a damp cloth in with them, I'm not talking soaking wet, just yeah. damp and just make sure it stays like that. They'll last a lot longer. Okay, great advice. And um, it's fun to also see the mini donuts and the cider and everything else. And then pumpkins come later too. Uh, yeah, starting next week, they're gonna have a large picking and we should start seeing pumpkins out there at the end of next week. Okay. All right, the Apple House is open daily from 10 until 6 through mid-December. It's one mile west of the Arboretum on Highway 5. And